Hello, hello. I know that I haven't uploaded videos in a while, but it got me thinking, why haven't I uploaded videos in a while? It's because one, I'm a foreigner teacher in China. Currently, I'm in China. Number two, I'm, I'm, I'm mentally exhausted. Number three, I've been watching Master Duel videos and apparently in my search, there are streamers such as Fusli, Saikuno, Blastoise, and Ludwig, and Moise, Critical, or also known as Charlie, they are dueling, and I'm like thinking to myself, why, why are they dueling with cards that are... <laughs> this video, I'm going to make Fusli's Ultimate Blue Eyes deck, so someday, she can able to use this deck recipe and beat the crap out of Saikuno or anybody else. Because I'm telling this right now. Fusli, if you're watching this video, thank you for using my deck recipe. Hope I can duel with you, Saikuno, someday, and I'll teach you guys the actual combos. I'm gonna open your mind of the Yu-Gi-Oh! world. So hoping that you can able to use this deck and beat the crap out of everybody. Not just your friends, but everybody. <laughs> so let's begin. Okay, so I'm at the Master Duel deck editor, and I've watched the duels between... Saikuno and Fusli and I'm gonna start off with Fusli because I watched her blue eyes deck and I'm just saying to myself She needs a really strong blue eyes deck and she I think she really likes dragons So I'm gonna build the blue eyes deck. Okay starting with the three blue eyes All right, you know the drill three blue eyes. There's a new card called dictator of D dictator of D is basically when it sits on the field when an opponent attacks she can decide which of the which of the uh, monsters can attack. It can be chose to the blue eyes or the other dragons, okay? And then alternative white dragon, of course. You need three of the alternative white dragon. And then you need white stone of ancients. You need one jet dragon, just one. Maybe two is okay, but one jet dragon is nice because I've seen the videos where Fusli already got the jet dragon. Of course, blue eyes ultimate dragon, you can never for can never have a blue eyes ultimate dragon have at least two and blue eyes twin burst dragon i have i haven't seen maybe i don't know if there's more videos but i haven't seen fusli using blue eyes twin burst dragon neon blue eyes ultimate dragon this card's actually pretty good we don't need maiden with the eyes of blue the reason why is because it's good when you have it on the field and then afterwards maiden will be targeted no matter what so it's better to not have maiden However, you can. However, we'll have this Sage of the Eyes of Blue. So that's three Sage Sage of the Eyes of Blue because this card is very useful. And then she needs Bingo Machine Go Go. Bingo Machine Go Go lets you get any blue eyes, and you don't need Chaos Form. You need Ultimate Fusion. Ultimate Fusion is when you have on your main phase, you can fusion summon a blue eyes, uh, a blue eyes Ultimate Dragon, blue eyes Twin Burst, or blue eyes o a Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. And you can fuse it from your hand, field, or graveyard to the deck. And then, afterwards, you can destroy face-up cards on your opponent controls up to the number of blue eyes, white dragon, and blue eyes, ultimate dragon, used on the field as a material. The next one is the ultimate creature of destruction. This card is useful because when you have a blue eyes, that face-up blue eyes is unaffected by card effects except its own blue eyes and cannot be destroyed by battle and then opponent's monster battles is destroyed at the end of damage phase or damage step when this card's in the graveyard if you normal so special summon a blue eyes you can set this card but banish it when it leaves the field so this card is like basically when you it's a it's like protection you get protection on your on your monster, on your beatdown monster, which is nice. And then you need True Light. Now, I've seen, I've seen uh, videos where Fusli does not understand what the True Light's meaning. Opponent cannot target Blue Eyes, right? And remember, if a Blue, and remember, if a Blue Eyes is using with True Light, and if Blue Eyes destroy, and if this card destroyed, Blue Eyes is destroyed. And if this card is sent from the from the trap to zone to the graveyard, you it destroy every all monsters that controls. So it's it's basically um, a risk high risk high reward. You don't use this to summon Blue Eyes. You use this to set one spell and trap directly from the deck that has 
blue eyes white dragon with its the contacts so you use this to make ultimate fusion or you use this to gain uh, bingo machine go go or you use or you use true light to use the ultimate creature of destruction blue eyes spirit dragon this card is very nice this usually i use this a lot when i have a tuner white so the ancients and alternative white dragon or blue eyes and what happens is that I usually synchro summon it, uh, blue eyes spirit dragon, and then I tribute this to gain azure eyes silver dragon. When az when azure eyes silver dragons on the field, my dragon is uh, protected for two turns for two turns. So it is a nice card. It is a it is a great card to use only in your only at a dire situation. Next, you need this card max C. Whenever someone special summon, the more the opponent special summons you draw a card so you have plenty of cards so it's it's like your bread and butter of i guess in case of emergency and then you need this card this is the most one of the most powerful cards in the game ash blossom enjoy your spring whenever someone activates an effect where they draw a card you can negate you can use this card on your hand to negate the effect so you can negate the effect of add a card from the deck to the hand, special summon, send a card from the deck to the graveyard. But you can only use it one per turn. Next, I think we all know we sh she would need a Feather Duster. Also, Monster Reborn is nice. Now here's the interesting part. She would need a Foolish Burial. Because when you use Foolish Burial, you can take any card from your deck to the graveyard. So you can take this card from if it's in the deck to the graveyard and at the end of the phase this card's effect activates it's really nice the next card is the melody of awakening dragon this is a truly nice card basically discard one card you can add up to two dragon monsters within 3000 or more attack and 2500 or less defense basically you can take out any uh, discard any card you can discard discard and then you can take blue eyes and alternative. Next card, trade in. Self-explanatory. This card, level 8 monster, blue eyes, or the other blue eyes, or this blue eyes, and you draw two cards. No exceptions. Blue eyes, abyss, dragon. Now, blue eyes, abyss, dragon is good if you have a ritual monster to able to put in. And I'm going to put this in the deck. So when this card is special summon, you can add one ritual spell or one polymerization from your deck to your hand. During end phase, you can add one level 8 or higher dragon from the deck to the hand. In other words, you get a one spell card that is able to fuse. You can get ultimate fusion in a way or the ritual monster or ritual monster spell card. And then you can add any dragon. Aha! And this card, Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. This car is deadly. When you you can ritual summon this card with chaos form, it must be ritual summoned. Your opponent cannot target this card with card effects, cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. If this card act, attacks a defense, you double the damage. So this it doubles the damage. This 4000 becomes 8000 of the damage and whatever the difference of the life points. So you need to have this card. But, but we need a couple of supports to gain this card. What could that be? One of the spell cards that needs to summon a Blue Eyes Chaos is Advanced Ritual Art. What is Advanced Ritual Art? Well, you use the, if you have a Chaos on your hand and you have this on your hand, this can uh, Ritual Summon Chaos. All you have to do is take a Blue Eyes from the deck to the graveyard and you summon this. Another one is High Ritual Art. Basically, when you have blue eyes on your hand and you want to get Chaos Max Dragon, you can use this card, put the blue eyes back to your hand, and then disappears. So you get so this card stays until the opponent's end phase, and afterwards it goes back to the to the to the deck. The next card that needs to be put into the blue eyes deck is Silver's Cry. Silver's Cry is target one Dragon Normal Monster Special Summon, no exceptions. So this card can special summon blue eyes or within the context of normal monster treated as a normal monster. So in other words, if this card is treated as blue eyes and let's say you already special summon this, but this card is treated as blue eyes 
it literally can use Silver Scry to gain this. It's it's a nice combo. It's a really nice combo. A couple of cards that needs to the support of Blue Eyes is Lightning Storm. Uh, you need, I guess, like a Lightning Storm one or two, only because only because you need a destroy the back row, which is spells and traps of your opponent's monster, which is nice. And then you need this card. This is interesting. Nebula Dragon. Now, Nebula Dragon ables to special summon this dragon and a blue eyes dragon. You need two just because of a, in case of an emergency, but you need two, two, at least two. And there's a reason why you can able to XC summon. So you need certain XC's monster in order to gain that effect. For example, some of them is number 38, Hope Harbinger Dragon, Titanic Galaxy. This card is a doozy to fight against. So once per turn, when a spell card is activated, you can negate it and it becomes a material. It becomes a XC material. In other words, it's like, oh, you use a spell card? Mine. Yoink. It's a yoink card once per turn. And then when you fight this card, uh, you can detach and then that card's the perform and change the attack target to this card, damage calculation. It's a pretty doozy card, so I'm going to add that to the extra deck. The next one. This card, number 100, Numeron Dragon. This is an insta-kill card. And in order to create that number 100 card to be insta-killed, you need this card, number 92, Heart Earth Dragon. Now, the next card I'm going to show, it is the actual combo to get to the Numeron 100. You need number 97, Draglubion. Now, Draglubion has its really unique ability. This card cannot be targeted with card effects. Your opponent cannot do that. You can de detach one material of this card. You take two dragon number monsters with different names from extra decked or graveyard, except this card. So you special summon one of them. And for the rest of this turn, you cannot special summon other monsters except with that monster only. So here's how the combo works. You use this card, Nebula Dragon, or any level eight, two level eight dragon monsters to summon this Draglubion. And then you detach and then you detach to gain this card. Once this card has appeared, you gain uh you you gain a material card that is with no, you detach this card, you gain attack equal to all combined ranks of XC monsters on the field. So you have rank 8 and rank 1 times 1000, so you have 9000 attack points. So in other words, Draglubion and Numeron, you have an instant 9,000 attack. And this is basically a re last resort, just in case. And last but not least, you will need this card known as Infinite Impermanence. So Infinite Impermanence, basically this card can able to target one face-up monster upon a controls, negate its effects. But you can use this from your hand if you have no cards on the field at all. So if you grab this card when the duel starts and it's your and it's opponent's turn, you can just use it when opponent uh, uses monster effects. And last but not least, you will need this card, Five Headed Dragon. That's right, Five Headed Dragon. Why? It's a just in case. And the reason why you need that is because of this. Super Polymerization. Discard one card, Fusion Summon, any of the materials. And it could be from your field or opponent's field. Does not matter. And this is the best possible deck I can come up with for Fusli's Ultimate Blue Eyes. It has power. Uh, technicality, it's okay. It has a deck engine in some form. And it has, I guess, back row abilities and whatsoever. But it has all the need to fight. So let's just jump into it and test this deck out in a casual duel. All right, we're going to the casual match and we're facing a ayaya. Ayaya. We are going first since we got the coin toss right. Time to duel. Okay, I go first. Now, since I have a bunch of 
card starting deck. It's really nice. It's actually not bad. However, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do. So, what I what I like to do is, uh, let's see. I like to do start by trade in, right? Because we have Nebula Dragon, so I like to do trade in. Take this out and take two cards. Not bad, right? Yeah, that's not bad. See, that's that's not bad. So now, now that we did our uh, trade in, we can now use Sage of the Eyes of Blue. So Sage of the Eyes of Blue's effect. And if it has an Ash Blossom, we want to take it out. Okay. Next, we have the Mel the Melody Awaken. And then Melody Awaken, discard one card. We'll get Blue Eyes at the end of phase. And what we're going to do is get this Blue Eyes and this Blue Eyes. Pretty neat, right? Yeah. So far, pretty good. So, so far, pretty good. Next, Blue Eyes Alternative. All you have to do is show Blue Eyes. And Special Summon Blue Eyes Alternative. It's a really nice combo as a start. Next, we will do Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. And we put it on defense. And do I have any other effects? No, we were not gonna do that. See, here's the problem. We can we can do this right away or not, depending on the the activate, but we're gonna do the effect right away. Get blue eyes spirit right away. So we have blue eyes spirit. And he's using that. I don't know why this guy didn't do Max C the entire time, which is kind of, which is kind of, uh, you know, just kind of, uh. We put this in our turn, but before and before in our turn, we do we want to activate it? Uh we can activate it, sure. That leaves us to get Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. And then we use the Abyss Dragon's effect. We take this to the hand. And then we use Abyss Effect. We take this one from the hand. Well, to the hand, sorry. So now we are next turn. We are ready for a, a for an actual assault, and we still have five cards in our hand, which is not bad. So we have protection. We can't be targeted. We can't do anything or whatsoever. And then we use ultimate creature of destruction, be just in case something happened. So now the opponent's deck we have, I think, I believe it's a Sky Striker. So Sky Strikers. Yep, Sky Striker. Sky Strikers deck are really, really annoying. The main key is to get a lot of Link monsters to the graveyard so you can special summon Access Code Talker. Let's see, he's doing it again. Sky, Stri Sky Striker Mecha. Crossroads Dragon. Okay. Two monsters. Some special summon one rose synchro monster, one plant synchro monster from the extra deck. Okay. It's a it's a rose deck? Sky strike Sky Striker Rose Deck? Ouch, that hurts. If you do a special summon Evil Thorn. Evil Thorn and then and then I get hurt? Come on. I get hurt. Effects not activated, so okay. So this is link two, three, and four. This person is going to link four, hoping it would not do anything. Okay, main phase, quick effect, tribute this card, plant monster, special summon one rose synchro monster and one plant synchro monster from your extra deck. He's treated as a synchro summon. 
What? Why is it treated as a synchro summon? I don't understand that. Rudy Rose Dragon. Oh. Synchro summon, you can banish all cards from the graveyard. Then, if this card was synchro summoned. Okay. It's banished all my cards in the graveyard. Okay. That's kind of not really what I wanted or needed. But whatever. That's okay. So it's a plant deck. Okay, so it's a plant deck. Snowdrop or Snowdrop the Rika Fairy. It's a plant Ah, it's a plant deck. Okay. You can take Rika Monster deck except Rika. Okay. Unfortunate to have playing a a plant deck that is kind of eh, you know. So now this person using Rika a Rika deck, it's kind of mm, it's kind of mm, you know. But remember, I think this person may have forget the ultimate creature of destruction because a monster it battles with this card it just. It, be, it destroys at the end of damage step. So I hope this person remembers. If not, then whatever. It cannot be targeted by effects or destroyed. Because ultimate creature destruction effects activated. You know? So unaffected card effects cannot be destroyed by a battle. Yeah. So whatever is doing with the Rika with the Rika stuff, it's okay. So it's not really that's not really of my uh, concern. I hope this. I hope this person read reads the ultimate creature of destruction. This person can destroy my my azure eyes. It's okay. That's fine. I don't really need it. Uh, this person. Oh, he does not know. Does not know. Oh my god! Can't be destroyed. And is destroyed. Ah, uh, does not know. Told you. I told you, that trap card is so useful. When people don't read, it's so useful. It's really... Oh, and they surrendered! They surrendered! <laughs> they surrendered! I told you. I told you. This deck makes people surrender. It is... <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> when you don't read, when you do not read cards, hey. <laughs> hey. It's simple as that. <laughs> All right, let's do one more duel because that was just unusual. All right, the next one, Mike Mellon. Okay, it's an interesting. I wonder if you have no stupid deck that makes it stupidity. <laughs> All right, here we go. Time to duel. Now we have our main phase one of their opponent's turn. Let's see what they got. Two cards face down and end his turn. Oh, okay. Okay, not bad. That is not bad. Not bad at all. My turn. I draw. Alright, I activate this spell card known as Foolish Burial. I can take one monster from any of my deck to my graveyard. I take one monster, any monster I want, from my deck to my graveyard. And I choose Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. <laughs> Next, I activate this. Melody Awakens. The Melody the Melody of Awakening Dragon. Here's how it works. I discard one card. Then I take two dragons. There are 3,000 or 3,000 attack and 2,500 defense. So I take my blue eyes and my blue eyes alternative. Next, I activate Nebula Dragon's Effect. Nebula's Dragon's Effect activates. I show my blue eyes from my hand. Then I special summon my Nebula Dragon and my blue eyes in defense mode. Come forth my blue eyes white dragon! I am not gonna use anything of these blue eyes. No, I am going to XC summon. Now, I am going to XC summon this. My Nebula Dragon and my blue eyes. Now, I XC summon together to form number 97, Draglubion, in attack mode. Draglubion's effect activates. Now, I detach my blue eyes to special summon my number 100. Come forth, 
Numeron Dragon to be materialized with Heart 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 Earth Dragon. Next, I activate number 100 Numeron Dragon special ability. I detach Hearth Hearth Dragon. And now it becomes 9,000. Now let's battle. Number 100, Numeron Dragon, finish it off. Oh my god, it surrendered. They surrendered. They didn't want. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I just want to have a good duel, man. But you want to surrender. Mike Mellon, put your head down, you bum. Okay, it's safe to say that this deck makes people surrender. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why, but this deck makes people surrender. But we're going to adjust, okay? We're going to adjust, so this way we'll have everything. So this is actually the actual ultimate deck right here. Yeah. This is actually the ultimate deck. 45 cards, Pusley's ultimate blue eyes. It's really nice. And we had two duels that makes people surrendered. <laughs> I do not know why people just surrendered out of nowhere. And I think Fusli able to use this deck. Hopefully someday. And if she uses this deck recipe, Thank you for watching of my video. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy of me testing out creating a deck for streamers such as Fusli. Uh, the next video I will make a video for Saikuno. Saikuno's deck is good with elemental heroes but he will never learn about evil hero. So thank you guys for watching. If you want click the like, subscribe if you want to, you don't have to and I'll see you on the next video. Till then, peace out. Bye-bye.